What is up guys? Starting another video in my car once again. But uh, today, I guess I'm just going to be doing like a vlog. Right? I guess you can call it that. But uh, we're going to start out um, about to go in the gym, hit some legs, and just finishing my pre-workout right now. And uh, I'm going to show you guys what I did. So back before I started my cut, I was doing this program. I kind of cut it short because I stopped in the middle of it because I wanted to cut for some reason. But uh, I'm going to show you guys what I did. And for during that time when I was doing that program, my squat exploded. So hopefully that is what's going to happen again. We're trying to get stronger, trying to get bigger. Slowly but surely it's happening. But uh, we're going to get this leg workout done. I'm going to show you some movements that I thought helped me quite a bit. And hopefully it helps you guys too. All right. So warming up here so this workout is definitely a squat focused strength workout um, I always warm up with the bar first just to really help my hips warm up like my hips are always really tight in the beginning so I had to really like ease into it for sure but uh so I'm trying to get my squat back before I started my cut my squat was doing really well and um, from the cut it suffered pretty bad like I dropped quite a bit of strength in the squat and out of all my compound lifts or powerlifting lifts you can say um, my squat suffered the most which is surprising because my squat was probably my best lift before that so we're trying to get back up to it just because I love athletic training um, it's what I grew up starting with that's when I what I did when I first got into working out and lifting all that stuff, athletic training has always seemed fun to me, so I'm going to get back to that, because all that really matters is if you have fun with it, then you're still going to receive results regardless, so the most important thing is just go in the gym and have fun, do what you like to do, um, but this is just warming up still, I usually go up a plate every time until I get to my starting weight, my starting weight, um, first off I did six six four three three or maybe no I did six four or six six four three um, four sets total this is my first set of six my first set is usually pretty rough so I don't expect to have it move very fast my first set of, for my first set so which is why I do two sets of six and then I do a four and then I do a three um, 85 percent of my max so I kind of guess my max is probably around 455 right now um, it was a lot more but right now it's probably 455 so you're seeing me do 375 for a set of six and um, what I focus on is consistency and just practicing the weight um, that's really how you gain strength you can't be impatient with it because it's just you just <laughs> you can't expect your strength to just shoot up all the time it happens sometimes for sure but you definitely cannot expect it to happen all the time so consistency so my setup I try to keep it the same um, that way I don't know it's just a mental game honestly um, just keeping things consistent always helps for sure um, so when I step up to the bar it's usually the same <clears throat> or at least I try to keep it the same so I can really focus on getting the reps um, this is my set of four with 385. Um, felt pretty good. Um, I think that was like an RP of eight. But uh, <clears throat> for all of my squats, um, I have been doing pyramid training. So obviously the six six four three three or six six four three is a pyramid scheme. But I'm also keeping track of my perceived exertion. So I'm seeing I'm keeping track of how hard that set was and then comparing it so like next week I'll compare it was this an RP of 8-2 again or did it feel easier this time so it's always good to keep track of that that's how I kind of use both so um, I always thought that um, that was always helpful because you're keeping track of things because your exertion kind of tells you are you getting stronger um, what do you need to do if you're not um, the thing you are seeing right now is dead squats. Now this one, it was a huge staple in my program before I started the cut. I feel like this was a huge reason why my squat shot up. It's exactly this reason. You don't need to go too heavy. I did three sets of five here. Um, just go at a weight where you feel like um, with your regular squat, it gets kind of hard to 
come out of the hole with. So like 315 for me is when I start noticing it, it takes a little bit more effort to um, get out of the hole and just my regular squat. So I do this, I put the, the safety bars where around parallel below, a little bit below parallel maybe. Um, and then I just pause at the bottom and then try to explode right back up. This also will help with any athletic movement like jumping or even sprinting. It really helps with hip strength. Um, that's what we're trying to focus on here. Getting out of the hole is really important for me especially because that is my weakest point in my squat. Might not be for everybody, but um, I would suggest putting the pens at where your weakest portion of the squat is so you can work on that. It helps you really like focus on your weak points and your compound lifts. Um, of course, you see here front squats. Always a staple in my leg workouts, honestly, because it is the, I don't know about the best, but it is one of the best things you can do for quad strength and abdominal strength. It helps you stay upright in your actual back squat. Um, I really like have a love-hate relationship with front squats because I can get really good at them, um, but it hurts. <laughs> Like, front squats do not feel good, for sure. I mean, back squats don't feel good either. But front squats are on a whole nother level. Um, it takes so much effort to get out reps, for sure. Um, that was my, I did 6-6-3 six, six, with that. My, that was my third um, set. And then that was 3-15 for three. Um, trying to get that back up too, because I just like front squatting, as weird as that is. Um, next thing shown here is the Bulgarian split squat with the barbell. Um, I did... I'm trying to remember exactly how many reps I did. I think I was also 663 if I, or maybe it was just, no, it was three sets of six. Um, started with 225. After this set, I dropped it down to 185 because it was pretty difficult. Um, I didn't want it to be that heavy. Um, immediately after this, um, this is part of my athletic training right here. I like to as you're about to see, put my foot back in the same exact position as I was squatting and actually jumping up. This kind of, it makes you, after you do a big load of weight, it makes your body feel light. And if you do an athletic movement like this right after, it always helps with those fast twitch muscles, um, activating those and the, eventually your body gets accustomed to that feeling. And that's what's important. Next thing obviously is a hack squat. Hack squat was another huge staple in my um, program before when my squat exploded. I feel like this was a big reason why is because I always would, I could use the hack squat to really focus on glute activation, um, getting right where parallel was and then pausing for a split second and then exploding. And I superseted it with uh, jump squats as well um, just because uh, I was honestly just trying to get some endurance in there as well. <laughs> it burns hard that's why I did it so um, next thing is just some unilateral uh, leg press um, just working on those imbalances always put unilateral movements into your leg training um, because I mean for me anyways my right leg is so much weaker than my left and so I know that and I'm working on that um, I don't remember the exact reps for the single leg press but uh, yeah, so the next thing, hamstring curls, super set it with um, butt kickers. This is another thing to do right before sprinting, actually. This is a great thing to do. Uh, so do heavy weight. I think I did 15, 12, 10, 8 with the reps, and then I did 10 seconds butt kickers right after. Uh, that helps with your fast twitch muscles as well. Um, I definitely notice it. Um, it helps you just feel so much faster before you spread it's always nice to do it might you might look stupid doing it but who really cares I mean if you're worried about what other people think about you in the gym then it's not good uh, next thing is just a single leg RDL and this just helps with stability and hamstrings honestly I, I do like doing it. it gives you a good stretch uh, this is also really good for ankle stability. So if you have any weakness in your ankles, this is a good one to try out. Helps with balance, obviously. So that is, I did more, but uh, I didn't show a lot of the other stuff, but I hope you guys enjoyed this voiceover and we'll get on to the vlog right now. Oh, you thought the workout was done? No, just kidding. Still got running to do. 
hopefully that is not shaking too bad. I literally set it on top of like an air conditioner thing, so yeah, we'll find out later. But uh, yeah, so I've been, I literally just, literally just now got done lifting. And it's been two, two hours and six minutes exactly. Um, this workout, when I wrote it on paper, it didn't look that long, but there's so many barbell movements. I have to take a good amount of rest in between of those, so it takes a long time. Um, but right now we got 10, 10 40 meter sprints. And I usually take about 45 seconds in between. So it's gonna be a little rough. Um, first I gotta take my pants off. And yeah. Rule number one, you can't run with sweatpants on. It's so uncomfortable. So, and knee sleeves too. I had to take the knee sleeves off. So 10, 40 meter sprints after I get my pants off. I had these tights on underneath the whole time, so sweat like crazy. <sighs> Having fun. It's Saturday too, so this just tells you what I do every day. It shows that I have no friends. It's fun. So fun! <sighs> yeah, let's go. Alright, so we just made the drive back home. Um, obviously planning on eating. I hope you guys like the voiceover for the workout. Pretty much the rest of the day I'm just going to be vlogging what I'm doing, so... I don't know really what I'm planning on doing. It's really nice out, so I'm going to do something outside. Um, obviously, eat a bunch of food because uh, we're trying to get big. And, yeah, that's it. So, I don't know what's about to happen, but... All right, so post-workout meal. Six cups of California blend. California blend's the best vegetable blend you can get. Don't argue with me. A bunch of lettuce. Use this seasoning to cook the chicken thighs that I'm using. If you guys don't, have not tried chicken thighs, it's so much better than chicken breast, so try it out. Um, this time I'm using smoking mesquite, and this seasoning is freaking awesome. And then the last thing, I'm doing two cups of brown rice as well. And you guys are probably wondering how I'm eating this much freaking lettuce. Well, you know what? If you haven't tried it, put mustard on it. I already know what you guys are going to say. Oh my gosh, it's freaking gross. But no. You can't get this. Alright, I got it over. Freaking. You just go crazy. You go crazy on it. Just, just keep going. Uh, yeah, that's enough. That's enough. If you haven't tried it, you need to try it. All right, so here is my post-workout meal. So we got two cups of brown rice, the best darn chicken in the whole world, cooked with the air fryer. Literally cooks it perfectly. And six cups of California blend and a bunch of lettuce. So, pretty healthy. After this, we'll be going outside doing something. That, that, yeah. Keep watching. Oh, we gotta stop. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't touch the <sighs> Always waiting on you. Three inches higher. Who did that? Oh, uh, man, I can't. You did. <laughs> you was riding it, weren't you? No, it wasn't me. See, uh,. Get it, Emma.
Thank you.